Coming up next on Wall Street Warriors. The market has been completely insane, and no one's ever seen anything like this before. We're looking at a depression, even worse than a recession. Every day, the market is just getting pounded and pounded. I literally had a guy crying on the phone. He lost $50 million. We're down 2,400 points on the Dow. There is fear down here I've never seen before in my life. Nobody really knows what's going on. Nobody knows what to make of it. People are in trouble. Send Wall Street to jail. Not comfortable. No money for scumbags on Wall Street. It's a little hostile, I'm not going to lie. I don't feel too, uh, don't feel too safe here. We have blood on our hands. Wow, this is insane. How are we going to leave this building today? We're going to walk out in suits. They may attack us. They're after Wall Street guys, you know, and they think it's our fault. right now of a serious, serious situation. This past week has just been like nothing I've ever seen. One half under half. Every day, the market is just getting pounded and pounded. We've lost 2,400 points on the Dow. S&P's down 200 points. There is fear down here I've never seen before in my life. Nobody really knows what's going on. Nobody knows what to make of it. People are in trouble. That's why we've just seen tremendous swathes of selling. It seems like any chance that people have to get out are just selling assets. Go! Go! There's no money out there. Nobody's lending money back and forth. They're just selling assets to raise cash because the commercial credit lines have seized up. Nobody can borrow money right now. It's basically like a machine running without oil. Coming into the office this morning, again, we're dealing with the market going through some serious fluctuations. We need some economic help uh, from the government. There are talks of a bailout anywhere from 700 to 750 billion dollars. Ken's been on the horn all morning um, just trying to figure out what's going on. Everyone's getting slapped left and right. The market's swinging three to four, swinging 800 points a day, intraday. And what I think is everyone should go to cash. Quote me on this, I think the market would probably touch anywhere between 78 to 7900. So I think we're headed into very deep depression or recession, I should say. No one wants to admit that we're in a recession, but if you remember two months ago, I, I said that we're looking at a depression, even worse than a recession. I agree with you, so we don't agree on much, but. We lost Merrill Lynch, we lost Lehman Brothers, we lost Bear Stearns, AIG, absolute complete shock. No one's ever seen anything like this before. The market has been completely insane, and I sort of do a roll call now in the morning to see who's still standing. Eggs, I was just checking in. Uh, give me a call when you can. I just wanted to guess them in on October. The stories we're hearing are incredible. I, I literally had a guy crying on the phone the other day. It was absolutely horrible. 
the guy lost $50 million. They closed his firm, they closed his desk. There are no jobs, he has to feed his family. So, I mean, you're gonna see that played out everywhere. Okay. If someone starts a fund with a couple of hundred million dollars and he runs it up to four billion dollars, he figures out very quickly that if I get two percent on the four billion dollars, if I could raise another thirty billion dollars, my income is just going to explode. So many of them opened the floodgate, took capital that they couldn't deploy, uh, couldn't monitor the trades, and ended up paying for it. They got hurt because they overexpanded. Just flew in this morning, I left my house at 4.30 to, to get here. We're coming to Teaneck, New Jersey. Gonna meet around 100 clients. Teach them how to trade options, teach them how to use the platform. You know, take away the fear of, uh, of how to execute a trade online. The market is in such turmoil these days that I'm a little apprehensive. I want to be with my customers. I also want to be down at Wall Street. I also want to be in front of my computer. I want to see what's going on. But here he is from Chicago, Mr. Tony Batista. Thank you. We have uncertainty right now in this world. Would you not agree? We got a financial system that's in ruins. You can make an argument that we are in the process of having a crash. Now, are you prepared for that? Trading, it's not brain surgery. You just need a little bit of knowledge. I'm going to show you how to execute the trades. The market's in a turbulent time. We're having 500 point moves in the Dow each day. 3%, 4% moves per day are something we should not be seeing. But, you know, we've got a credit crisis here and we've got a, a lot of fear on the market. A lot of fear on the market. Thank you. These are all new customers. They're fearful of their pensions. They're fearful of their 401ks. Remember, everything has changed. Just like I was telling you, you know, there was no financial crisis. They're scared and they want to know what they can do to protect themselves, how they can protect themselves. Cobra Sard. How are you, sir? How are you? You just got your statement and you're panicking, huh? We've been getting calls from some concerned clients as to the volatility of the market. I mean, who's not concerned? You don't want to keep losing any more money? I mean, you really haven't lost any money. I don't think anything is funny, sir. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm being very serious right now. The best thing for you to do is not to panic because this is what's happening all across the board. Everyone's panicking and they're saying, get me out. Your money is safe here. You're sitting in about 78% cash right now. So we're looking pretty decent, to be honest with you. Yeah. Given the fact of what's happened with this market, I mean, we saw over almost a 50% drop. No, he's not losing money with us. He's losing money with his other accounts on the street. And the thing about it is we've told them to transfer those funds over here six months ago. I understand that you've lost and it took you 15 years to build up your, your net worth that you're building. And, and, and you're not the only one that has saw some losses here. I have people that have retirement accounts and, you know, and I feel bad for them because, you know, it's something that they've worked for for 25, 15, 30 years and now they're saying, wow, that was the money I had for Jonathan for college. And that's the position that a lot of people are in and it's, and it's, and it's really sad. But the point of the matter is with the market down here at 8,300, I would think it's irrational to get out of everything completely. I think the market's starting to stabilize itself and I know you heard this song before, but what we're doing is we're protecting all the 401ks, IRAs, and pension plans. I'm not going to watch your retirement funds dwindle away, and they have not under my watch. Right now, we're seeing things down here market-wise that we've never seen before. If you look at the biggest down days, three of them were in the last two weeks. Just a couple days ago, I think we had a record down day. Now we're looking at another record on top of that. So it's hard to really pick a bottom here because we're kind of in uncharted territory. The housing market has caught everybody. I didn't realize how deep the mortgage market was tied into everything. You saw these financial firms on Wall Street, they're all holding mortgages. So the housing market goes south, everybody goes south. It's like a house of cards, unfortunately. Well, how many do you have in the crowd? We've got 300. Lehman has actually gone bankrupt. There was a government takeover of Bear Stearns, and there's kind of a laundry list of other banks that have either gone under or look like they're gonna go under. Merrill, Goldman, Wachovia. When you hear names like that, that have been solid forever, I mean, it's, it's bad. I'm 
the CEO of a small startup hedge fund, AlphaWorks. It's a market neutral fund which tries to make money in any market environment. Even though the stock market overall is down about 35% on the year, we're down only about 5%, which is not as good as being up, but it's a lot better than some of the very biggest and best known hedge funds in the world have been doing. And unfortunately, with the crashing of the stock markets around the world and the aversion to risk which people are now experiencing, the prospect for raising money has only gotten dimmer. A few months ago, I had a business lunch in New York with Rich Taglianetti, and I told him about my fund and my background, and he was intrigued by our strategy. How much money, realistically, do you think we could have by the end of this year? It's all about performance. You can easily attract $500 million if you could demonstrate that the strategy will generate these returns consistently in all environments. I haven't spoken with Rich in a while, and I'm going to be calling him today to follow up on our meeting. We have to hope Rich will be able to raise money for us in what is the worst time in the history of the hedge fund industry, and it's harder than ever to raise money for a tiny startup like mine. September was the worst month in about 18 years for hedge funds. There are probably nine to 10,000 hedge funds. Estimates now are we could lose 60% uh, in the next six months. The game is changing. We need regulation now. We can't regulate ourselves, so we've just demonstrated that. We need to get our heads handed to us, our butts kicked, until we fix what's broken. This isn't just a U.S. problem, it's now a global problem. You've seen emerging markets get destroyed over the last month. This is going to change the way we view capitalism. I think there's a lot of blame to go around in terms of who's at fault here and whether lack of regulation was a part of the problems that we're seeing right now. I think it's a certainty that there's going to be a lot of regulation that comes out of this. Some will be good, some will be bad. Overregulation is not good, but underregulation is also not good. People prove over and over that if left to their own devices, they try and line their own pockets. 95 a time! And in the last decade, there are countless scandals where it's been comical to watch the parade of CEOs saying, oh, you know, nothing's wrong here, our books are fine, and then two days later, they're bankrupt. No, 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 no. I got a call from the office telling me that, you know, there was going to be a demonstration down at Wall & Broad, which is right where Wall Street is. I mean, that is the mecca of the financial world. This is the bull, the symbol of everything great in our country. And you can't get any, you can't get any closer to Wall Street, and they are, uh, they are here in mass. They were angry about the bailout. Nobody wants to support this. They don't want the people to be responsible for it. I want to sell my suit right now and buy a t-shirt. I mean, the cops have riot gear on and, and machine guns. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure everything with the, what's going on in the world, is, it, it brings it a little, escalates it, but uh, they ain't messing around. I wanted to see what was going to go on. What were they going to do to Wall Street? What did the people have to say? What's the message you're trying to get through? We have been suffering through the last eight years of class warfare on the middle class and the working class in this country. They had no money for the people in New Orleans, but they had billions upon billions of dollars for bailouts and for the war on the people of Iraq and Afghanistan. And we are sick of this fucking bullshit. You can't afford health care, but you can't afford a $700 billion bailout? Are you kidding me? Aren't a lot of people who invested in these products, people like you, people, people like me? People are going to lose anyway. This thing is not going to do it. People are going to lose. This is only $700 billion they're talking about. They're, they're, the losses are in the trillions. They're angry with the banks. They're angry with the oil companies. Everybody's angry at everybody. But what are we going to do? Let's come up with a solution. Let's stop yelling and arguing about it. If you don't like what the fat cats from Wall Street are coming up with, then give us something else. Give us a solution. They should fund the bailout and not healthcare because it's a very rich person 
Um, I can't afford $700 billion, but I, I can afford, you know, a couple of hundred thousand dollars for health care. Would you like some money? <laughs> for certain, here, I'll just take a few. I don't want it all. I don't want to be a greedy No, 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 no. no. There's more? so much of it. I mean, there's $700 billion. It's, it's actually a sort of foreign-looking currency. It's backed by other nations investing in this one, which seems a little dubious, you know, but uh, it's the only way I can get a lot of money. Everybody had their own agenda, but the core message was, it's got to stop. It's just got to stop. I love this country. I love Wall Street. You want to leave this country in a better place than you found it. And I don't know if that's what we're, we're, we're doing. The demonstration has actually moved from where it started out to right here. Uh, right outside of our office, because we're right outside of the New York Stock Exchange. You can actually, you know, if you stay quiet a little bit, you can kind of hear the chanting. And I think there's probably six, seven hundred people outside right now. A lot of angry main streeters. We just opened up the windows, and it's crazy out there. Wow, this is insane. That's going crazy. They're pissed about the 700 billion coming out of the taxpayers' dollars. No one feels that they should be bailing out these big banks that default you know what? and defrauded everyone. You know what? People are not happy because at the end of the day, they're going to have to pay for this. Yeah, basically what they're saying is, you know, you broke the financial system. You know, you go into a store, you break something, you bought it. Just to justify this bailout, I do think people don't know the real dynamics of it and that it is really needed for the survival of this economy. The general public doesn't understand the because, nature because of Because you this. know what? It doesn't help them. That's if the credit market is frozen, them. guess what? They can't get loans, they can't get credit cards, they can't get auto loans. Main Street just doesn't get it. They think that they're completely separated from Wall Street, but Wall Street is Main Street because that's where the dollars come from. It comes Touché, from Main my Street. Friend. That was a good point. If we don't have this bailout, there are going to be more loss of jobs, more people out on the streets. It's going to be 1929, 1931 all over again. It's time that we have money for jobs, money for education, and money for social justice, and no money for war and for scumbags and Wall Street. If we don't help with the bailout, the whole market falls. If the whole market falls, there'll be no money left for any of the social groups that they wanted to help, the homeless, the poor, uh, the middle class. There'll be nothing left. continuation of what we've seen down here another bad day and I I think until the market gets some answers it's going to continue like this we need to know who's going to fail who's going to be around and how deep it is we're sensing it's real deep and I think that's what we're seeing right now I think over the last 20 years Wall Street had free reign to do what they want now those same people are going to get bailed out by the government I know the government's trying to keep the whole financial system sound but I do not fault the American public for being like, what are you talking about? If Joe Blow on the street opened a business, a flower shop, a restaurant, and his business failed, nobody's giving him a check for $2 million when he walks out. His business failed and he's in trouble. I feel for the people that were retiring this year or next year in two years. They had X amount of dollars. Now they have one third of what they had. And all their plans, all their hopes, all their dreams that they've worked for for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years are gone. I mean, their whole life has changed, and you couldn't feel worse for those people. Even with the $700 billion bailout package that's proposed, I don't even think that's enough to sustain what we're going through right now. We're going to need at least $1.2 to $1.6 trillion injected into this economy. For the working man, for the guy who's going to college, People are starting to get a little angry here. I mean, they, they really are. No more bail. Send Wall Street to jail. Not comfortable. We will not take it anymore. I'm wearing the sign Green Hell, and it will continue to kill. Don't let it happen on our watch. Be vigilant. It's a little hostile. I'm not gonna lie. I don't 
feel too, uh, feel too safe here. Uh, How are we gonna leave this building today? That's, that's, that's a real question. I do not want to go do that right there. It's not promising. We're gonna walk out in suits, they may attack us. I don't know, you know? They're after Wall Street guys, you know, and they think it's our fault. I'm just here in the mix like everyone else. We can get out of the pine exit. So the pine exit. These guys are not stupid. They got us surrounded. They got, the, they got the mark. They got the New York Stock Exchange surrounded. What's going on here? I'm calling Rich Taglianetti, who raises money yeah. for startup hedge funds, to see if he's been able to find any investors who are interested in investing money with us. What's going on? It's been an obviously horrific time for the investment community. We've actually been doing pretty well. We are flat in the month of October, which is kind of a victory, considering some of the biggest and best hedge funds in the world are down 20, 30 percent are going out of business. You know, we think we're really holding our own and doing relatively well. You're winning by default, but we want you to win because you're good. I mean, Bottom. It's hard to tell if we've bottomed, it seems like we've stabilized. Well, what do you see going out there? Is anybody raising new money for anybody? What do I see? I mean, I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out who's still standing. They're still looking for good managers. A lot of money's going to be taken away from guys who fell. It's a cleansing for our industry. How can we make ourselves more attractive to your investor base? Give me a 10% year. We're hoping to have a high single digit last quarter of this year, so we'll have to take it from there. Perfect. Now there are no more excuses. I mean, you weathered this storm. Now deliver some returns. When you have people chanting, you need some aspirin for your migraines. They have thousands of people outside or hundreds of people outside chanting, uh, you know, fat cats mm -hmm. and pigs and dressed up like pigs and greed painted on their face. And don't forget about the pink girls. Code pink, code blue, call it code purple, call it code red. I'm calling it a code disaster that's happening here in the market. You know what, I think it'd be a better idea if we went out through the, uh, if we went out through the Pine Street um, exit, out the back. Yeah, the back, the back exit. Uh, yeah. I, I use the back when I go eat lunch sometimes. Yeah. I mean, you guys are talking about going out the back like some. No, no nobody, guys. nobody wants to just run into a bunch of people with masks on like it's Halloween. <laughs> Man, everybody's yeah. protesting. Look, you got, not there you got people me. wearing pig faces. I you know what? We, 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 this is what we do. We, three guys, we're gonna sum it up to Beth. Beth, what do you think? Let's go out the back. So the joke in the VIX is to settle spot disputes that uh, they'll have a dance off. This is Benny. He's actually doing a little dance off move right there. Anyone in particular? 